Where are Burlington's most luxurious and wealthy neighborhoods to live in? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be covering in today's video. Hey guys, so welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the most luxurious and expensive neighborhoods to buy in Burlington, Ontario. Now, what everyone is looking for, of course, is different. So rather than listing out just one to 10, what the most luxurious neighborhoods are, I thought I would break it down into a few different categories based on what you're looking for. And if you're looking to move to any one of these neighborhoods, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to help you out with your home buying journey. But other than that, let's just jump on into it to the very first neighborhoods we're going to be talking about. And that is if you're looking for waterfront properties or that waterfront lifestyle. And the best two neighborhoods for that are either Shore Acres or Roselands, as these neighborhoods are located right on Lake Ontario with some of the most stunning properties Burlington has to offer backing right on to Lake Ontario. So if bordering one of the Great Lakes wasn't good enough, the streets of Roselands Roseland and Shore Acres are also lined with amazing old growth trees that let you know your home as soon as you arrive. And not to mention all the lots that the homes sit on are typically larger than the Burlington average with a lot more privacy and immaculately kept gardens. Now these neighborhoods here are really known for their grand old homes with their historic exteriors that are just modern enough interiors or also their brand new new builds of someone's dream home that maybe knocked down the old bungalow and put up what they envisioned was their dream homes. So each and every home is architecturally unique from its next. This gives its neighborhood such an interesting and electric feel while ensuring there's something for everyone. So while you might find some opportunities to renovate or build your dream home here, like have others have done in the past, those are going quicker and becoming fewer and fewer farther between. Now, not to mention in these two neighborhoods here, they have some of Burlington's top rated schools. Well, yes, Shore Acres and Roselands definitely have a bigger lot compared to the average. If you're looking for a true large lot to live in Burlington, Ontario, the best neighborhood to look at would be rural Burlington. So if you're looking to leave the city behind and escape into lush farm fields with the beautiful Hamilton Escarpment to look at, rural Burlington is definitely for you as these homes sit on large profit properties with beautiful panoramic views of like the Hamilton Escarpment. Not only will you find a mix of mid-sized homes as well as some larger and more extravagant new builds, and most homeowners that live in rural Burlington truly believe that this quick, close access to Burlington while still enjoying that rural feel really outweigh any of the extra tasks that come with having more land and a little bit outside the city like a septic tank or being on well water. Now, not to mention, if you're living in rural Burlington and enjoy the outdoors, this is also a great spot as you're just minutes away for some of Burlington's best hiking trails along Burlington or even one of its neighboring cities like Milton. Now, most of the properties in rural Burlington are going to have their own unique feel, but if you're looking for your neighbors and your house to have a similar theme, these next two neighborhoods would be definitely for you. And that is either Millcrop or The Orchard or even for that matter, Alton Village as these are more established communities in North Burlington, typically drawing expanding families who have now outgrown their current home and are looking for a bit more space. As most of the properties in Millcop and Orchard were built in the 90s and early 2000s and consequently, because they were all built within the same time frame by the same builder, they all have a uniform feel with each home feeling similar to the one next to them. Now, if you choose to live in Millcroft, you just steps away either from a park like Millcroft Park or also Millcroft Golf Club, which is a full 18 hole golf course that runs throughout the entire neighborhood or maybe you choose Orchard, then you're just a short walk away from Bronte Creek Provincial Park, offering a wide variety of different hiking trails, outdoor activities, and camping spots. But in particular, if you're living in the Orchard area, there's a great nice bike path that allows you to get quick and easy access to what feels like true nature in Bronte Creek, just on the edge of your neighborhood here. Now, the difference about these two neighborhoods you're going to notice is because Millcroft was a slightly older development than the orchard, the land that the homes sit on will have slightly larger lots. 
whereas the orchard in the other hand offers a more diverse housing options that will attract a lot more people looking in attached and semi-detached options. And then if you're looking for some other housing options that are those semi-detached, attached, or condominium lifestyles, this next neighborhood is definitely for you, and that is downtown Burlington's neighborhood, Central and Maple. As in these two neighborhoods here is where you're going to find the highest density of condominiums and attached communities. As overall, these neighborhoods here are perfect for anyone that is maybe looking to move out of a major city like Toronto, but don't want to fully give up that city lifestyle where you can walk to your favorite restaurants, coffee shops, and pubs. Now, of course, living in an area like this does come at its great cost, where you're either going to have to pay a fortune for a detached home or concede a little bit of living space and buy a beautiful condo. And you can find some stunning waterfront penthouse condos with massive terrace outlooking Lake Ontario here. And if you're looking for a condominium that's one of the newer buildings, this is typically one of the higher density areas also for the newer buildings coming into Burlington. So if you're looking for any pre-construction, this is a great neighborhood also to look in. And then the final category that rounds out the most luxurious neighborhoods in Burlington are the tucked away communities. So these are communities that give you that little bit of rural feel with still all these city amenities as they're more tucked away into beautifully lush overgrown areas. And those two neighborhoods would be either Aldershot or Tyandaga. Now these are great neighborhoods as if you love the sight of large trees is like oxygen to you, you will definitely be able to breathe here as Tyndaga and Aldershot are two beautifully mature Western neighborhoods in Burlington that offer lush greeneries around all of its homes. Now the typical homes you're gonna find in these neighborhoods here are slightly older with the development beginning in the majority of the area around the 70s and then finally completed around the 90s. So because of that, you're gonna find some older bungalows or some split level floor pans that are perfect for young couples or families looking to enter the market with a detached home. But almost all of the homes in Aldershot Central are large two stories with the traditional center hall plan and double car garages. Now, both these neighborhoods are amazing to some of the best green spaces in Burlington with Tyndaga being home to Tyndaga Golf Course as well as Kearns Cliff whereas Aldershot Central on the other hand is home to Burlington Golf Country Club as well as the infamous LaSalle Park offering Burlington's only harbor where you can choose to dock your boat if you have one but you can also just see a bunch of families in LaSalle Park enjoying the summer days with a nice barbecue beside Lake Ontario. So those were the most luxurious and expensive neighborhoods you can find within Burlington and I hope those categories helped you better understand what each of those luxurious neighborhoods can offer you. Now of course if you're interested in moving to Burlington Ontario and want a real estate professional that knows the real estate market like their back of their hand feel free to send me a message I'd be happy to help you out but other than that the next video I recommend you go check out are my top frequently asked questions of other buyers looking to move to Burlington and where I answer them in this video here. So go check that out. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day.